Third objective uh, is leg muscles. And we're going to start with anterior compartment muscles of the leg. Our anterior compartment muscles are the shin muscles, first of which is our tibialis anterior, which arises from the front of the tibia and part of the interosseous membrane, courses down medially, uh, where it crosses the uh, front of the tibiotalar joint, where it dorsiflexes that joint. And then it inserts uh, on the bottom of the foot by some of those medial tarsals and the first metatarsal. So when that muscle contracts, it lifts the medial part of the foot up um, and inverts the subtalar joint. The next is the extensor hallucis longus muscle. This muscle arises more laterally on the fibula, and then it courses down in front of that uh, tibiotalar joint where it helps with dorsiflexion, and then continues all the way down to your big toe, which is known as the hallucis, and it extends that toe. So another word for hallucis is your great toe, or digit one. And as its name implies, it's going to extend that great toe, lifting it off the ground our extensor digitorum longus. This muscle is going to originate from tibia, fibula, and the interosseous membrane. And it courses down in front of that tibiotalar joint where it assists in dorsiflexion. And then it continues all the way down to digits two through five, and or known as your lesser toes. Lesser toes and digits two through five, or digit two is beside the great toe, and digit five is that ugly little baby toe with that weird little toenail on it and it extends these digits by lifting them off the ground. So if you have an extensor hallucis longus and extensor digitorum longus, that means there must be extensor hallucis brevis and extensor digitorum brevis muscles. And looking at the dorsal aspect of the foot, there we have that uh, right on the dorsum of the foot is that extensor hallucis brevis that goes all the way to the great toe. And then our extensor digitorum brevis muscles are going to then course along two digits, two through five, and help with extension of these. These muscles, these brevi muscles, are innervated by the deep peroneal nerve. I don't care if you know them or not. I thought I'd point them out because if you have longus, you're going to have brevis. Uh, in review of our anterior compartment leg muscles, there are three muscles that correspond in this front, in this axial section, in this color coded. The nice thing about learning muscles and compartments is that there are things in common, such as common actions. All three of these muscles are going to cross vertically the front of the tibiotalar joint and help with dorsiflexion. And also, all these muscles are innervated by the deep peroneal nerve.